Hey, welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 10. That's a wrap. And I am your host, Steph. Today, I want to wish you a happy holidays or a merry Christmas. I'm recording outside the, or next to the little entryway Christmas tree that that's the one. It's actually not well. It's quite tall. It's like a nine foot tall tree that I was adamant we needed to buy. And Steve said, no, we don't need to buy that. It was on sale like two years ago. And so I said, yes, we need to buy it. We need to buy it pre-lit. Oh, I love it. I love it. We bought the tree, got it home. Absolutely doesn't fit in the living room. He knew it wouldn't. I have glasses on. Let me take those off. That's probably better for you. Um, he knew it wouldn't fit in the living room, which is why he didn't want to buy it. I made us buy it. So our entryway has a cathedral ceiling and skylight, so that's where the tree is. <laughs> um, we usually set up a smaller tree in our living room, but with Roland and everything this year, we just said, okay, pre-lit tree. We'll just put it up in the entryway, put the presents underneath it, call that good. So we didn't dig out all the ornaments and go through all that. But, um, cause really I'm happy with just white lights and a tree, call that good. So I am recording out here and here's my little festive scene for you. Um, it is December 18th, 2011. We are seven days from Christmas. And if you've got Christmas knitting, I hope you are getting near the end of it. <laughs> So just a little bit of a week recap. Last week was my first week at work full time. Yeah, so um, <laughs> it was interesting. Thursday night, I came home. I went upstairs, the boys were in our bedroom. I, you know, put my arms around Roland, leaned over him and was just like, I don't wanna go to work another day. And um, I actually had it in the works and found out it was approved on Friday that going forward for the next six months, I will be working from home one day a week. So I don't know if I've told you before, Steve is working on his PhD. Um, he is two out of four years into it. And the last two years you spend writing your dissertation. And so we thought it was a good time to have a baby when he would be home writing and he could take care of Roland and everything's working out great. Except for the little caveat that he needs to teach a class down in Boston. <laughs> So a class is generally one day a week. So he'll be teaching, um, I don't recall the what the class is. Oh, it's negotiations, that's his specialty. He'll be teaching negotiations down in Boston on Fridays and I will be working from home. Uh, Mom is probably gonna come and take care of Roland but I'll be able to go out with them for a walk at lunchtime. I won't have my hour long commute. It'll be great just to have that extra time home with them. So I am so thankful about my job. You know what else I'm thankful about? Do you see this hair, this hair? Yeah, I have a friend at work that I want her hair because you always want the hair you don't have. Her hair is stick straight. It's probably down to here. It's beautiful shade of brown. I love it. It's, she dyes it so it's a nice rich saturated brown. And she wears her hair French braid across the top of her head. And every time she does it like that, I'm like, oh, Jackie, I love your hair. I want your hair. And today I was brave and I tried it. And it's a little far back. My braid is a little further back than her braid. Her braid would be about here. But I got the technique and I could totally roll and grab a hold of it and pulled some hair out, <laughs> pulled some loose strands. So I know it's like that, but um, I could totally rock the sideways braid. Oh! So exciting. And it only took like five minutes to do. So just a matter of brushing the hair into position and then doo -doo 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 -doo. so woo, so exciting. New hairstyle. And otherwise my hair is in a ponytail. So that's a that's a win-win for me. Um what else do I have to talk about to you guys? Um let's get into the knitting because that's what you're here for, right? So last week I showed you my Oz vest that I was working on for the knit along over to the discussion board, join up. We're gonna knit as many vests as I can. <laughs> no, there are three vests I wanna knit and until those three vests are done, the knit along is going. So join up, the prize is gonna be, it'll be post a finished picture, finished object picture, and the prize is going to be a skein of Dreaming Color Smooshy with Cashmere. And the second prize will be a Ravelry pattern of your choice. So, and I did show the the skein of yarn last week so go back and watch that if you missed it anyway so here's my oz vest the first vest is completed 
and I am just thrilled with how this came out. It blocked really well. So this pattern has these garter ridges down it every, I don't know, every inch or so. And they're really cute, but when it hasn't been blocked, they're, they scrunch up. And so I bet this grew four inches after I blocked it. And I didn't stretch it, I just laid it out, wet it and laid it out. So um, the yarn is J Knits Super Wash Me DK. It was yellow, I over dyed it to this teal. I hope the light's better in here. Uh, teal, bright blue and a little bit of brownish uh, colorway. I actually had um, one scan of it and I was getting so close to running out that on the back, this row right here, I was nervous I wasn't gonna have enough to finish up to the edging because the edging is this olive green color. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough so I did one row with the olive green. I don't, it doesn't bother me, I don't care. But I was left with a tail about that long at the end after I um, kitchenered my shoulder together. On this side, I had about that much left. So, woohoo, way to use up every last ounce of the yarn or every last yard of the yarn in this case. So I need to, I'm holding it like this because I need to get two buttons because it's a uh, easier entry for the little guys. And this is the 12 month size. I knit it on US size six. I used the sixes for the bottom, but then once I got to the edging on the neckband and the armholes, I really, I didn't want to use the sixes. So I wanted to make sure it wouldn't be wavy and bow out. So I dropped down to the fives like the pattern suggested and they came out great. I am thrilled with this. I have knit one before. Um, what did I use? I used Morocco Comfort DK, I think. And that was not nearly so nice as this one. So I think that's because it's a um, acrylic nylon blend and then this is 100% super wash wool. And who doesn't love to knit with wool? I love to knit with wool. So once the buttons are sewn on, they'll get sewn on the edging, the green edging right here, and then it'll fold and it'll be symmetrical. So right now the back, this button band part is sticking up. So that will be fixed and he will be toasty warm around the belly and this isn't gonna fit him right now. <laughs> it's um, a bit bigger than I anticipated, so who knows, check back in a month and it might fit him. I mean, it's amazing how quickly he is growing. So, anyway, so this is done. The Ozvest is done. I need to post finished pictures, but it's soft, it's smooshy, it's blocked. It's wonderful, just need the buttons. I wove in my hands just for you, I'll have you know. And when that was finished, I cast on the Pembroke. So right now, if you're in um, the SSK group, the, Knit Girl Summer Knit Away, Super Summer Knit Away, you'll know that the current knit along is Kristen Kapoor. So if you want to knit a baby vest and get in on this knit along and knit Kristen Kapoor's Pembroke vest, you get in on that knit along too. So two for one. Um, I cast on right away. So this, the pattern calls for um, size four. Nope, not size four calls for size five and then size seven needles with Dream and Color Classy. I substituted, because I like to substitute, um, this Knit Pick Swish DK. I wanted to use, excuse me, I need a drink. Just water, but that's my rockin', rockin' well-worn Starbucks mug. Oh, you're so jealous. It used to be solid bright red. It matched my car, I loved it. I still love it. I refuse not to use it. I once had a boss at work offer, <laughs> I was using it at work and she was like, I will buy you a new mug. Let's go to Starbucks. I'll pick out one for you. Just stop using that mug. <laughs> so I do have a work one. Same thing, except it's brown and the paint hasn't come off. It doesn't go through the dishwasher. This one did. So anyways, um, so substituted the dreaming color. No, substituted nit picks for the dreaming color. And I started with size fives, but the dreaming, no, the Knit Picks yarn is supposed to be knit on size fives. And so I thought that the fabric would be too drapey if I went with sevens. I have a perfect example I'm gonna show you. And so I just went up to sixes. I didn't go up any further. And I really like how sturdy, how dense this fabric is turning out. Um, so here's as far as I've come. I am seconds 
rows, two rows, mind you, from binding off for the sleeve. So this is the 12 month size. And you can see, look at that glorious ribbing. Why don't I, everything I knit for him needs to be in ribbing, I swear, because he's, it's like he's too small, he's too small, he's too small. Oh, it fits him right now for two weeks and then it's too small again. Like, I realized that with the baby hats a couple of months ago and then I forgot it and now I'm remembering it again. Like, I think it's because I don't wear things that are ribbed because as a larger woman, ribbed clothing just sucks in and highlights the parts of me. I don't want to highlight, <laughs> but on a baby, it's okay that he's fat and chubby. He's not fat and chubby, but it's, you know, the Buddha belly when he eats. Um, and that's okay. And it's adorable to have his clothes be really kind of snug fitting on him, but not uncomfortable, of course. So love the stretchiness of this. Um, I love the pattern. Holy cow. Can I please tell you that the chart, so here's the chart. And at first I was like, Oh no, that, Ooh, I'm not a big fan of cables. Like I can do them, but they require some brain power. And this was super simple. Just like boom, 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 knitting around, go and do some garter ridges and call that a day. So I could do that with my eyes shut and not even thinking and thinking about whatever else. Cables, eh, you need to be paying attention a little bit more. But these, this is a great pattern because she's got like every other row is a rest row pretty much. And so you're not thinking that often. It makes sense. You can quickly see the logic of what she's doing with the cables. Super easy to memorize. I was actually thinking, can I make this pattern into a pair of socks? Like I'm really enjoying knitting it a lot. Like highly, highly recommend this pattern uh, so far. <laughs> so it is knit in the flat on, in pieces, two pieces. I'm not gonna do that. So I just knit it in the round, of course, which resulted in me having this three or six stitch section, the six stitch rib of solid knit. I could easily have cut this part, these 10 stitches right here and done another cable. And if I were to make another one, which I'm planning on, I would probably do that just so it's cables, 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 cables. But I thought the under the arm, it might be a little less bulky for when his arm is down to have it be the, to keep the solid knit section. Cause this should be a seam in here and that would eat up a lot of, at least two of those stitches. So since it's not a seam, it gives that extra space, but I don't know. I thought it would be easier for him. Um, over on the discussion board, we've been talking about it and some people, ah, hold on. I'm going to jump back here, jump out, jump into that. Um, some people, maybe I can jump to the discussion board. Um, are either doing a solid stocking up back because they're worried that the cables will be a little too ridgy and might be uncomfortable for a person to lean back on those cables. In his first one of these, we didn't have that problem. It didn't bother him at all. Um, so I wasn't concerned about that. The other thing people are doing, I'm trying to get to your name. I'm so sorry because you are such a help. I'm, I'm going, I'm getting there. I am not going to be someone who gets the name wrong. Okay. Mel Melchrist? Yeah, Melchrist is doing ribbing, just straight ribbing on the back of hers, which would be another option like two by two ribbing. That would be really cute too. And then you just have the patterning on the front of the sweater. I think that's a little more, if I remember back from my apparel production days, that's a little more of what the commercial companies would do. They wouldn't carry the patterning back on the back of the sweater, the cabling. But you could see it. I picked a nice bright green color for mine um, or for Roland so that the hard work of the cables would really show up and they do, right? You could see them very well. Um, I like this big center cable. I think that's pretty cute. I did change the pattern so all of the cables twist the same direction of, as written. Well, no, that's not true. Most of them twist the same direction including this spot right here. Um, I have a little OCD and the fact that the center ones, one was going to go under and then one was going to go over. If I fall, if I twisted them the way the pattern called, it bothered me. So I twisted them both over and then carried that onto the next set so that they both went under. So it matched. That's all. Well, not so it matched. So it was symmetrical. So it made sense. 
next match a color or a mirror? I think it's a mirror. Anyways, I did that. So this is the 12 month size, as I said, and I'm just about to split off for the armholes. So it's going really well. And then like I learned with this one, once you split for the armholes, the um, distance until you're done phew, flies because you're knitting just these little tiny sections on both sides of the V. So really, really fast. The yarn itself is, um, the color is asparagus. And I had quite a bit of this in my stash because in 2008, I had myself a sweater with this. So Roland and I are gonna have matching sweaters. And I thought I would share the sweater with you. So this is the Turbulence Unit Pullover by Nora Gon. It's from Knitting Nature. I knit this in 2008, so it has been worn quite a bit. It's a bit of an old shabby sweater at this point, but um, I had loved this center cable design so much. And it is a crop sweater, I think cropped with three quarter length sleeves in the book. I made it long sleeved and full length, like down to my hips, or not to my hips, to like the middle of my hips. Uh, what else did I do to it? This was how I knew that knitting on size seven needles was gonna be too drapey. So this is really, really drapey fabric. It's really loosely knit. Um, I wasn't such a stickler for gauge back then. I wasn't really concerned with the fabric. So that's why this was such a pleasant surprise for me as I got going. It's like, oh yeah, this is really dense and nice. Whereas this one is like, you put it on and it flows like water. I mean, it's really drapey. But we will have matching sweaters. So there has to be at least one picture of Roland and I with our matching sweaters. I think I will do exactly the same as Sheila did and make a hat to match because this just needs a hat. I asked for a hat. I had four and a half skeins left over after I finished my sweater. So, um, so far I've used one skein. I'll probably use a second one to finish it off. 123 yards per skein. So yeah, two skeins for the sweat, for the vest, for the size, and then maybe a half, the half of one for a hat. So that is the plan. That is where I'm at. And, um, yeah, next on to the needles will be another one of these for our friends that just had a little boy December 8th. Um, he, so they're, the mother, Erin, is super, super trendy. They live in Boston. She's one of those women that wears black all the time and is like this big around. She was very cute pregnant because it was a basketball on her little tiny frame. Um. Yeah, so she dresses very trendy, and I'm almost wondering if I should be knitting like a gray or navy blue, or I'm not gonna knit a baby black, but like she would want something very classic and sophisticated for her boy. She would never put him in a Mardi Gras sweater. But, uh, so that is what, I'm sure I'll finish this today, because it's football day! The Patriots are on in a couple hours, so we'll be watching football still weird. Um, we'll be watching football and I will be knitting away and he's napping right now. So as soon as I'm done recording, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the planned future events on the knitting horizon. Um, let's see, what else do I have to tell you about? I wish I had more knitting content for you. I wish I had more knitting content, but this week was really eaten up by Christmas. <laughs> Christmas wrapping, Christmas presents, running to the mall. Who goes to the mall twice in one week though, like so close to Christmas? I feel so dumb for doing that and I did it twice. You'd think I would have learned after for the first time. But you know, you squeeze in the shopping where you can. So, and working full time at the end of the day, all I want to do is get home to my little guy. So. If I can run to the mall at lunchtime, get what I need and get back, I'm going. I'm going. So that's what I've been doing. And then yesterday, I had my little elf in his bouncy chair on the dining room table shh, um, while I was wrapping Christmas presents. And he was just mesmerized by all the foil wrapping paper because we like really shiny, bright wrapping paper. So he was just like, ooh watching me and he was so good he sat there and we sang christmas music and he 
sat there. <laughs> you know, my faces. I talked to him. And um, it was fun. It was a good experience for me anyways. And what else? I think that's all I've got. Oh, no, it's not. I have one more thing. My friend, oh God, Syracuse, I think is her Ravelry name. My friend Heather, anyway, sent me, if I can find the button here, sent me the a Knitter's 12 Days of Christmas. Have you heard of this? I don't know. She sent it via email. I'm not going to sing the whole song to you, but I thought I would just read the last day on the 12th day of Christmas. So, here you go. On the 12th day of Christmas, my knitter love gave to me 12 lacy shawls, 11 cable berets, 10 bulk knit cowls, 9 stripy scarves, 8 alpaca bell clavas, 7 men's beanies, 6 pairs of mittens, 5 woolly blankets, four ribbed leg warmers, three pairs of fingerless gloves, two pairs of socks, and a Christmas sweater under the tree. <laughs> so she, it has the whole thing going through. If you wanted to sing it, you could. Um, I don't know where it came from, but it's really cute. So I thought I would share that with you. And then are you familiar with um, the Dizzy Deal? It's a website. I think it's just the Dizzy, D-I-Z-Z-Y, deal.com. It's some shop somewhere, some somebody's LYS, that um, during the 12 days of Christmas, every day she has a different deal. And it's really great prices on stuff. Um, you do not want to watch me do this. And I need to stop. It's put, Take the iPad away from me so that I'm not looking at this while I'm talking to you. Yeah. The Oh, no. It's www.dizzysheep.com. That's what it is. So D-I-Z-Z-Y-S-H-E-E-P dot com. Um, so during the 12 days of Christmas, every day a new deal. But it's better than that because every hour is a new deal up to 12 hours on the 12th day. So today is day seven. So she's got seven deals. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then earlier in the day. But there are six left for the the day maybe it's at midnight the new one goes up and then at 6 p.m. the next one starts I don't know how she works it but every hour she's listing a new deal and so right now the deal is Rowan killed kids silk creation she's got yarn accessories project bags all kinds of stuff I think there's been silk on there like it is definitely worth putting in your favorites and checking at lunch and when you get home from work and a couple times in the evening because I got some great stuff last Christmas and I was super excited to get the email that they were doing it again. So it's basic yarn shop, like the big name yarn companies. You wouldn't find any hand dyed stuff there or indie dyers, but it's still like great deals. So check it out. Dizzy deal of the day. You can Google it and get to it that way too. So there you go. That's my Christmas gift to you. Go check out Dizzy Deal and spend money and buy yarn. Um, send something to your knitter friends from Dizzy Sheep. They would love to get it, I'm sure. And that, I think, is all we have. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed the recording schedule. I'm trying to record once in every 10-day section. So once in the first 10 days of the month, once in the second 10 days and once in the third 10 days of the month. So I could record on the 1st, and I could record on the 20th, and that still falls within my guidelines. I'm setting goals here, people, and I'm trying to achieve them. And once a week isn't good, twice every other week isn't good. So just when it's convenient in those 10, 10 day chunks is what I'm shooting for. Um, the knit along is gonna run probably through mid-January before I finish all the best baby best that I would like to knit, so if you are doing Christmas knitting, but you still want to get in and do something for the knit along, don't feel like you have to rush. Finish your Christmas knitting, have a drink, relax, enjoy the holiday, and then join the knit along and knit a baby vest because you know you know someone. God, they're everywhere. I just found out someone new I know at work is due in March. Well, he's not due, but he's having a baby in March. It's like, holy cow, and they're having a little boy. And I did a bad thing. Yes, I, I broke the parents' code of silence. So he told me they were pregnant and I was like, dear God, it's miserable at first. <laughs> and he just looked at me so scared. And I know you're not supposed to tell people that. You're just supposed to say, oh, bundle of joy, bundle of joy. But it's not, it's awful at the beginning. And then every week it's better and better and better and better until 
they're sitting on the dining room table with you while you wrap presents, screaming and giggling and having a blast and laughing and being so cute. So just get to the three months and you'll enjoy it. But anyways, I have rambled at you enough. I hope you are having a great week. Enjoy, enjoy every moment. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.